Right now, something is moving through our solar system. An object from another star. Travelling at 150,000 miles per hour. Seven miles wide. And one of Harvard's leading astronomers thinks there is a 30 to 40% chance it is an alien spacecraft. Its name is 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever found. And in two days, it reaches its closest point to the sun, completely hidden from Earth. Some scientists say it is just a comet. Others are not so sure. And millions online think we are not being told the full story. So here is what we actually know what the conspiracy crowd gets half right, and why this mysterious rock has everyone from NASA engineers to late-night Reddit detectives paying attention. On July 1st, 2025, NASA's Atlas Telescope in Chile spotted something unusual, an object slicing through our solar system on a path that would carry it straight back into interstellar space. Other observatories confirmed it within days. It was not from around here. The official name became 3I Atlas. The three means third interstellar object ever confirmed. First was Oumuamua in 2017. Second was Borisov in 2019. Now we have number three. But Atlas is different, much larger possibly seven miles across. For comparison, Oumuamua was only a few hundred metres wide. And faster. It entered at roughly 137,000 miles per hour. By the time it swings closest to the sun on October 29th, it will hit more than 150,000. Its path is almost a straight line, a hyperbolic orbit with an eccentricity of 6.1. Anything above 1 means it is not trapped by the sun's gravity. 6.1, that's almost arrow straight. And one more oddity. Its orbit lines up almost perfectly with the flat disk of our planets, the ecliptic plane. The odds of that happening by chance are about 0.2%. This object could be 7 billion years old, older than our solar system itself. It has wandered the void for eons, and now it is here. The question is, why? Most scientists see a natural explanation, a comet with an unusual orbit, but one respected voice disagrees, Dr. Avi Loeb of Harvard. Loeb is no outsider. He is a former head of Harvard's astronomy department and has worked with NASA for decades. Yet he argues there is a real possibility, 30 to 40%, that 3i Atlas is not natural. His first point, alignment. That near-perfect match with our planetary plane is statistically improbable. If an alien civilization wanted to study a star system, it would aim along the same plane the planets travel. Efficient, predictable, data-rich. His second point, timing. Atlas reaches its closest point to the Sun on October 29th, exactly when it moves behind the Sun from Earth's view completely invisible to us. If you wanted to carry out a manoeuvre unseen, that moment would be ideal. Loeb even mentions the Oberth effect, a real principle in spacecraft physics. When a craft fires its engines at maximum speed near the sun, it gains far more acceleration for the same amount of fuel. If Atlas were artificial, that would be the perfect moment to change course, or release smaller probes. And we would never know. Loeb joked 
that if you are planning a holiday, maybe take it before October 29th. Because who knows what happens next. Argument number three, the chemical anomalies. When telescopes first analyzed 3i Atlas, they found something odd. Unusually high levels of nickel emission, but very little iron. That is strange. Most comets have a more balanced ratio. Loeb and his colleagues argue that the lack of easily identifiable chemicals could mean the object is not a typical ice and rock comet. Maybe it is something else. To be fair, other scientists later detected water, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and other common comet materials. But those first ambiguous readings <laughs> raised eyebrows. Argument 4. The size does not fit. At roughly 7 miles wide, 3i Atlas is enormous for an interstellar object. It is moving incredibly fast and somehow still intact after billions of years exposed to harsh cosmic radiation. If it is a natural comet, it should have lost most of its volatile materials by now. Smaller, older, more degraded. Instead, it is big, fast and strangely well-preserved. Loeb suggests that might mean it has a reinforced structure something artificial. Argument 5. The Dark Forest Hypothesis. This one is darker. Loeb references an idea from Chinese author Liu Cixin. The universe is like a dark forest full of armed hunters. Every civilization hides because making noise could mean death. If 3i Atlas were a probe from such a civilization, it might not be friendly. It could be reconnaissance, or worse. Loeb even co-authored a paper suggesting it could be a Trojan horse, a disguised probe sent to study us before something else. Is that likely? Even Loeb admits it is a low probability scenario but the implications would be enormous. So that is the conspiracy side. Now, here is what the evidence actually shows. Tom Statler, NASA's lead scientist for Solar System Small Bodies, put it plainly. It looks like a comet. It does comet things. It very, very strongly resembles a comet. And he is right. It has a coma and a tail. Hubble, Webb and multiple ground telescopes all captured it. A bright haze and a dust trail streaming away from the sun. Classic comet behavior. If this were a spacecraft, why surround it in a cloud of ice and dust that blinds your own senses? It is also outgassing. Carbon dioxide and dust jets thousands of miles long. No propulsion. No course corrections. Just natural outgassing. Chemistry? Normal. Water vapour, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, all standard comet signatures. The Very Large Telescope and James Webb both confirmed it. 3i Atlas matches what we expect from a comet born in another star system. No radio signals, no electromagnetic anomalies. Just sunlight and gas. As it passed near Mars in early October, ESA's Mars Express and ExoMars orbiters photographed it. NASA's Perseverance rover may have even caught it from the Martian surface. And soon the Europa Clipper will pass through its ion tail on the way to Jupiter. If this were alien tech, would we really fly multiple spacecraft through its debris field? Its trajectory, 
that so-called straight line is perfectly natural. A comet ejected by a gas giant billions of years ago. The faster it moves, the straighter its path appears. And that 0.2% ecliptic alignment, three data points, too small to mean anything. Coincidence happens all the time. So if the science is this clear, why do so many still think it is something more? Because humans are pattern seekers. We see faces in clouds, meaning in noise. And when a Harvard professor hints at aliens, our imaginations do the rest. Mystery is more satisfying than mundanity. If I say 3 Eye Atlas is an alien mothership, that is exciting. If I say it is an ancient comet, your brain says, oh, okay. But the truth, the truth is more profound. It has traveled longer than Earth has existed. It carries clues from a time when the universe was younger and wilder. You do not need aliens for that to be incredible. We want to believe we are not alone. The Fermi paradox haunts us, so we project that longing onto a passing comet. And yes, people distrust authority. History taught them to. So when NASA says it is just a comet, some hear that is what they would say. But sometimes it really is just a comet. Conspiracies feel powerful. They make you feel like you know something others do not. That feeling spreads. So here we are, October 27th. In two days, 3 Eye Atlas reaches perihelion, passing behind the sun, hidden from view. If Loeb is right, something extraordinary will happen. If NASA is right, it will act like a normal comet, outgas, swing around the sun, and head back into the stars. My prediction? It is going to behave exactly like a comet. But that does not make it less amazing. It has traveled for seven billion years. It formed in a star system we will never visit. It carries frozen material from an age when the universe itself was young. It is a time capsule a messenger, a glimpse of the distant past. You do not need alien technology for that to be profound. The universe still holds countless mysteries, but 3 Eye Atlas is not one of them. It is a comet, a spectacular, ancient, utterly fascinating comet from another star. I will be back on November 1st with an update on what happened during Perihelion. If Loeb was right, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. But I am betting on the comet. Stay curious. Question everything. But follow the evidence. Thanks for watching.